really wants his chocolate right now, so we're gonna go ahead and get his chocolate right now. Even though we just woke up a little bit ago. And I was gonna work out before he woke up, but then he woke up before I worked out. So now I'm just being lazy and watching YouTube. But he broke the Xbox, so we can't watch TV. So I'll let him watch some YouTube and we'll have a chocolate and then some oatmeal or cereal, because you want cereal. And then I will work out finally. And to find the number nine. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Ooh, what's this one? This one is, why can't I see this? A star with extra chocolate on it. That's a star for you. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Okay. Okay. So I was watching on another YouTuber's family channel that they started doing it the way we do it, 1 to 24, and then someone told them they're supposed to do it the opposite way, and eat your chocolate, you don't get any more till tomorrow, and so they started doing it the opposite way where they're like counting down, hey, no more, I will make you cereal, but only one chocolate a day, remember, I can get you something else to eat, okay, okay, I love you. He doesn't like me right now, but they were told to count down till Christmas, and I always count up because it's just the day that you're on. Today's the 9th, we open the 9th, and then we get to the 24th, and the next day's Christmas. Like, I've never done it the other way. I've always done it from 1 to... I would get lost doing it the other way, to be honest. I'd be like, what number did I just do? I feel like this is easier. But anyways, put down in the comments which way do you do your advent calendars? Do you count up from one to Christmas or do you count down from Christmas to one? Did we just put saran wrap over the whole table? Yes, we did. What are we going to do? Make feet. some Play-Doh. We're going to make Play-Doh. Feet. feet. Your feet. Are we going to make Play-Doh? You have never tried the Play-Dohs. <laughs> he doesn't know what Play-Doh is, but we're going to make it. We're going to make it. <laughs> ah! Scare him. Scare everybody. Scare him. <laughs> you stomping that foot? Yeah. Okay. Play-Doh time. Here we come. Thumbs up. Really? Mama! What? Come here, Red. I'm right here. What? What she want? Chocolate. Okay. Okay, we're gonna decide again which color. Point to which color. That one. Which one? That one, that one. You want the blue? Or the blue. orange? Orange. Blue? You want pink? Pink? Is that the color you want? This one? Pink. Or orange. You want orange? Orange. pretty cool it's super silky smooth I really like it but we're gonna see what Hayden thinks
used up the rest of my cornstarch, but it was really cool and a really fun experience or experiment. I'll have to get some more of this and I think I'll get an unscented or a different scent next time because it gets kind of weird and strong. But I did half the what the ingredients said, um, which was only one cup of cornstarch because that's all I had and then half a cup of lo uh, lotion slash conditioner. Said the cheaper the better, but Ours is pretty cheap. So we did this one and it was really fun and I'm glad we could try it out. And yeah, you guys should try it too and tell me what you think down in the comments because it's a really easy experiment. I asked him to keep it on the table and look where it all ended up. Please pick it all up, okay? Put it on the table for me. Please. Thank you. Can you get the rest? Quick, grab it, grab it. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Watch your cute, adorable little head. There we go. Good job. Put it on the table. Guys. So, our ward, our church, every Christmas, I feel like most wards, if not all of them, will gather up some gifts or gift cards or money or something, you know, to get together and do kind of like a sub for Santa type thing where they give out, um presents and stuff to other people kind of like what happened to us they do it anonymously anonymously and give it out and it's great and makes people feel good and I thought that the giant presents we got in the tree we got were it like I thought that was from our ward probably and that that was all that's not all I, I I'll never know who gave us all that but the ward I guess does gift cards and gives out gift cards to needy families. And we got three gift cards. Guys. I can't even explain how grateful I am that this is happening to us. This is the only way we're really going to have Christmas this year. Like, we can't afford anything else. So, I'm just so excited that we have this. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to whoever did this for us. Like, you guys are amazing. Like, the whole ward. You guys are amazing. I don't know if any of you watch this, but if someday one of you picks this up and sees it, please tell the rest of the, the rest of all of you thank you. I am so grateful for your guys' help in making this a great Christmas for us. Oh, my gosh. And I hope next year we can give it back. I hope we can do so much more for so many people. We're just in one of those situations that we don't have a lot right now. And it's hard for us. <sighs> so I am very grateful to all of you and anyone who has ever done anything nice like this in the world. You are loved and you are appreciated. And thank you. We get to have Christmas. We decided to start a new tradition every year where we have our children, which is just Hayden at the moment, pick out a new ornament every year for our tree. This year, Hayden picked out Captain America, who he calls Superman. Who's that? Superman! Superman! So he picked out this, which is very cute and fun. It's a little plastic thingy. Yeah! Let's go put it on the tree. Should we put it on the tree? No. Let's put it on the tree! Thank you, sweet girl. Okay, let's put it. Where's the, where's a good spot? Where's a good spot for it? Is that a good spot for it? Oh, you know how to do it. Good job, high five. Yeah. Yeah, he did it. David, 
Marley's over there making delicious, delicious foods. Marley's over here drooling over delicious, delicious foods. Hmm. Are you making him fly? <laughs> That's so cute, Hayden. Whoosh. You little climber. I know it's not that far, and if you fall, you got some soft stuff. No, Other no. than that, out. don't want that. To open. Out. Oh no, 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 no. We don't out. open that. Nope. Don't touch it. Be careful, sweetheart. I got Baba. Hey, I got Charge. Hayden. <laughs> it's way past Hayden's bedtime, and. So David took him in there to put him to sleep, and they're both asleep on Hayden's bed. I'll see if I can show you a picture without it being too dark. It's really dark in there, but we'll see if we can show you.